Whether you are a believer in the paranormal or not, the idea of ghosts, spirits and ghouls is something that, at one point or another, will have made even the most hardcore non-believer question what they believe to be true, and what they believe to be fiction. From cult horror flicks to terrifyingly true stories, the idea of hauntings and the paranormal have captivated the minds of millions across the globe. While some will only ever experience the sometimes sinister supernatural behind the safety barrier of the cinema screen, others have had rather more sincere meetings with those who survive from beyond the grave. Luckily for all the horror fans out there, these stories make for excellent and often unsettling retelling. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three malevolent stories of haunted places. The Firefighter and the Ghost The first of our stories is set in the American Midwest, an area of the country integral to its history. From the native Indians who settled on the plains to the unstoppable machine that was westward expansion, states such as Indiana have a rich history. Whilst aesthetically stunning, some consider Indiana rightly or wrongly to be a little, well, forgotten. Although this assumption is not exactly true, something that is undisputable is that the state has had its fair share of terrifying supernatural encounters. Much of the superstition in Indiana is based on folklore, and in the town of Gary, a belief in the paranormal perhaps now runs a little deeper after a spine-chilling event that took place in 2015. An abandoned and dilapidated town, Gary's population is small and crime rates are high. As such, old buildings are prone to setting ablaze, and the city's fire brigade are often busy. But one call out to battle a small wooden shack that had caught fire was one that the firefighter in question will likely never forget. After taking a few photographs of the blaze for training purposes before posting the pictures on Facebook, the firefighter's family spotted something strange in the window of the fiery abode. Standing in the flames was the horrifying figure of a man dressed in black. The bizarre thing was that the house was known to be long empty, and the firefighters had not heard any signs of distress coming from the building as they put out the fire. As such, residents of Gary came to the only conclusion that they thought fitted the strange event, that the malevolent man in black could only be something from another world, namely a ghost or spirit of some sort. Of course, this cannot be verified, but in a town that has been largely abandoned, even the strangest things are not out of the realms of possibility. The New Orleans School Haunting The existence of paranormal activity has been a hotly contested subject for centuries. For a select few, its reality is undisputed, but for others, it is simply stuff of the silver screen. However, rest assured that what you are about to hear cannot be slandered by science. The events of our second story defy the laws of logic and so can only be explained by one thing. Ghosts In late August of 2005, Hurricane Katrina was ravaging the deep south of America. From Miami to New Orleans, the storm left a visible impression on the area with upturned homes and trees felled for miles. New Orleans was by far the worst hit city on Katrina's path of destruction. Nearly 80% of the city had to evacuate to avoid Mother Nature's ensuing onslaught. However, it is believed that the storm left more than just its physical mark, one a little more chilling. Amidst the raging storm, the Sophie B. Wright School, named after an avid educational philanthropist, was evacuated but also served as living quarters for some members of the National Guard who were involved in the cleanup and rescue operation. If the Guard's initial task of dealing with the fallout of one of America's most devastating recent natural disasters was not difficult enough, their experiences at the school were by no means a light relief. Many of the Guards stationed at the school reported harrowing tales of transcendental activity, such as unexplained shadows and noises, but what perhaps is the most chilling of such activity was the fierce spirit of a little girl who managed to terrorize seasoned soldiers who had fought in Iraq and Afghanistan. One guard reported that whilst opening a closet of cleaning supplies, he saw the strange little girl 
and heard her giggling. Another guard even came face to face with a shadow whilst using the restroom, promptly causing him to flee. Events such as the aforementioned were widespread. For the guards, enough was enough, and a chaplain was called in to perform an exorcism on the school to wave away any spirits. After the visit, it seemed to be the end of the reign of the supernatural at the school, and life went back to normal. Many believe that Hurricane Katrina was an act of God to serve as punishment for humanity. As such, it also reignited the spirits of the past for further retribution. Whilst the exorcism may have ended the hauntings in this case, the possibility that such spirits still dwell in the school exists, as well as elsewhere in New Orleans, one of America's most haunted cities. The Haunting of Anchorage's West High The bane of many ghost sightings has been a lack of consistency in the accounts of their reporters. However, in the case of West High School, Anchorage, there have been multiple sightings that each have an eerie sense of consistency and a lack of reasonable explanation. As such, many have been led to the almost certain conclusion that what is going on can only be put down to the antics of ghosts and the supernatural. Anchorage, Alaska is an isolated city. West High School, a stone's throw away from the stunning Westchester Lagoon, which also happens to double as an ice rink during the winter months, has become known for a series of odd events that have left students and staff shaken. One of the main perpetrators of the frequent hauntings is known as the Lady in White. Whilst her appearance is self-explanatory, opting for a collection of frail white garments, what is not so easily explained is her behaviour and motives. The Lady in White seems to have an affinity for the areas surrounding the theatre and auditorium, as most sightings have occurred there although she is prone to the occasional excursion to a neglected basement or closet. Many have cited her patrolling the corridors, creeping around backstage, and some claim that she likes to sit in the auditorium, as if she were waiting for a show to begin. She is an elusive spirit, only offering her presence for a few seconds to frightened witnesses before escaping into thin air. One example of this was when an assistant principal vowed never to return to a corridor after being hounded by a white figure briefly before it vanished. At this point, you may be thinking that this is already more than enough evidence for a textbook haunting. However, it is also believed that the Lady in White may have a partner in crime. A poltergeist supposedly taking the form of an old janitor has also caused his fair share of terror. One female pupil screamed upon opening an old basement door after finding herself face to face with a man glaring at her, a decrepit, hauntingly pale janitor. This particular event spooked many students, with one even threatening to drop a class that was held near the basement. With that said, the phantom cleaner has been noted for his dedication to his job. Many have seen him sweeping the halls and corridors, which could explain the frequent sound of footsteps in seemingly empty areas of the school. Encounters with the janitor and the lady in white have certainly caused some scares over the years, and their existence is hard to dispute, as the descriptions of these apparitions have been so similar. Even though it may be off-putting to attend a haunted school, you cannot deny that these ghosts, helpful or not, certainly do add some character and mystique to an environment that so many people will have frequented over the years. The paranormal is often a difficult subject to approach, but for those who believe they have had direct contact with the spirit world, a belief in the supernatural is something that becomes all the more personal. Whatever lurks in the darker corners of the world is up for debate, but one thing is for sure, our fascination with ghosts does not seem to be letting up. But what do you make of these haunted stories, and what do you believe? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.